Let's get your recipe books open. I call the scriptures my recipe book because there's a lot of heavenly meals in there. We have meat. Bible says meat for the belly and belly for the meats. And we have bread to offer you. Jesus said I'm that bread from heaven. We have water to give you. It's called living water. So we have a good balanced meal. And when you have a balanced meal, physically, it helps you to develop properly. When you have balanced teaching, spiritually, it helps you to develop properly. If you want to learn in the right manner, dismiss what you know. Dismiss what you have. And go to God with the mindset of starting fresh. And the reason why that is important, sometimes holding on to tradition is a hindrance in divine development. Divine development. In other words, <clears throat> let's look at it from a natural perspective. If you've been used to working out a particular way, and then somebody come along and show you a better way, a safer way to work out and get the same results using less energy. You know, when I came up and we work out and pump iron, the concept was, and when you're curling with weights, you know, you curl as, you try to have it as heavy as you can. Mm-hmm. So then later on, the thought was, lighten the weight and just increase repetition. You see what I'm talking? Years ago, make it heavy. Just curling. Well, that's less repetition because of the weight of it. So they came up with the idea, let's, let's lighten the weight. And just more repetition. Right. And then you can get the same results. Right. <clears throat> I want to lighten your weight. That's right. But increase the repetition. Right. In the book of Philippians chapter 2. Says what? I will start at verse 12. All right. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed. Yes. Not as in my presence only. But what? But now much more in my absence. Uh -huh. Work out. Uh -huh. We want to have a workout today. That's right. Work out your own salvation. Don't worry about nobody else's. Your own. Work out your own salvation. Salvation. With fear. Fear. And trembling. So we want to bench press some scriptures today. That's right. Bench press it. You know some folk, they may be small, slim. But the ability to bench press shocks some people. That's right. You got some men, maybe 150 pounds, and can bench press double their body weight. That's true. Scriptures are heavy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, they are heavy. That's right. That's why a lot of folk drop them. That's right. <laughs> Timothy chapter 2 and verse 8. Listen. I will therefore that men pray everywhere. I will therefore that men pray everywhere. Lifting up. I told you. Amen. Lifting up. Holy hands. Holy hands. Now, many folks that saw us, as I've said on many occasions when they first seen us, they thought I was a Muslim. Mm -hmm. I never 
knew a bow tie had so much power. <laughs> and then when they saw me or some of the saints over the telecast praying like this, they said, you know he's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible said lift up. Lifting up holy hands. Well, if I lift them up like this, they're up. That's right. If I lift them like this, they're up. That's right. Up is from any position that's not down. That's right. Are you kidding what I'm telling you? That's right. So church people say, well, wait a minute. When you lift them up, you're supposed to do like this. Says who? Says who? If that's the way you lift yours up, you can get an argument out of me. That's right. I lift mine up yeah. <clears throat> like this. Lift up. Holy hands. Holy hands. Without wrath. Without wrath. And doubting. And doubting. So, I want to educate you how to lift up scripture. That's right. You know, I often refer to the natural, because that's what Jesus did. Yeah. He taught us, if I tell you earthly things and thou don't under, you don't understand it, how can I tell you heavenly? Anyone who wants to physically work out and to get results, it calls for the modification also of your diet. That's right. So you have to consume protein. Yeah. You can get it from beans or from meat. Yeah. And you have to take carbs. Yes. And you have to take in some good uh, vitamin D and strengthen your bones. That's right. And you need a trainer. That's right. You just can't go in and start lifting. You may hurt yourself. Yeah. You have to be trained. So most times they require that you do some stretches first. Mm -hmm. In other words, limit yourself up. That's right. Yeah, man, warm up. Yeah. Go that way, go that way, and bend. You, you want to limit yourself up. Exercise thyself. <laughs> Amen. I want you to hear this because we're going. This is our holy gymnasium this morning. That's right. The Bible says in First Timothy chapter now, four, the book of scriptures mm -hmm. is our training manual. That's right. For divine development. That's right. I want to increase the muscles of your mind. That's right. That your mind might be strong enough. To hold the heavy sayings of God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And I want to increase your heart. That it might be emotionally strong enough to carry the sayings of God. That's right. You know, the sayings of God is heavy. Oh, yes. Oh, man, that's heavy. Sometimes that thing weigh on your mind so heavy it make you lose sleep. That's true. It's heavy. That's right. Amen. Say it's a weightier matter. Yeah. What do you have, son? First Timothy chapter 4, we're at verse 7. Yes. But refuse profane and old wives' fables. Refuse profane and what? And old wives' fables. Just a minute. Hold, let's park right there for a little bit. Yeah. Because we have a lot of old wise old fables, fables that we have mistaken yeah. for scripture. That's true. Are you listening to the old man? That's true. We have a lot of old wise fables that we have assumed to be scriptures. That's right. <laughs> we have assumed it to be the teachings of Jesus and his apostles, and there's nothing more but fables, fables. that have been passed down from generation to generation. That's right. Fables bring about homemade scriptures. That's right. Homemade. You know, you got some women, <clears throat> they need a, 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 they make cake from a box. Mm -hmm. But then you got some women, they don't, they, they don't use box. No, they, they, they make it from scratch. Right. And they, they know how much of everything to go in there. That's right. And uh, they don't even have to know. They just know what to do, what to grab and put it in, and on the phone, hold it that way, and can't come out just right. That's right. They, just, they know how to do it. That's right. <clears throat> now, homemade, homemade. scripture <laughs> are scriptures that not even God <laughs> have. That's right. So they homemade. That's right. It came out of the mind of somebody, yeah. but not the mind of God. Yes. Like some parents, when we were coming up, when the children didn't want to get all their food, some parents say, 
saying now, the Bible says, waste not, want not. Yeah. There ain't a half a script that ever made no such statement. No. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> Old wise faith. Old wise faith. Amen. Waste not, want not. <laughs> now, this is a big one here. Mm-hmm. The scripture that says, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Right. An old wise fable said, listen, it's a sin to go to bed angry. Yeah. Ain't no Bible said that. No. So I said, what? Listen, I went to bed angry, woke up through the night angry, went back to sleep angry, and woke up when the sun came up angry. That's right. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4. I better explain that. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Let me strip that apart. Uh, You know, because I'm pretty sure many of us still have these old wise fables in us. And one of the requirements that's recommended before you physically work out mm-hmm. is going through a detox. That's right. That's right. Clean your system out. That's right. So you don't mind if we detox you. Amen. And man, if you don't want to be detox, we're going to run that junk out of you anyway. <laughs> All right, let's have it. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 26. What is it? Be ye angry and sin not. Be ye angry mm-hmm. and give me permission, permission to be angry. That's right. God gave me permission be but there's angry. a certain kind of anger yeah. that he allowed. Be angry. That means you allowed to be angry and sin but not. But then you got to go against your will while you're emotional. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. What a combination. <laughs> Amen. Because the Lord know anger ignites sin. That's right. It's almost inseparable. That's right. That's right. Now here come God. Amen. Glory to God. What is he teaching the church? Discipline. Yes. So when he said, be angry, angry. that means he's given us permission to show your displeasure about something. That's right. But it's a cap on it. Be angry and sin not. Be angry, mm-hmm. but don't get into self. That's right. He only allow you to be angry. Yes. But on his terms, That's think right. of it. Think of it. He allow you to be angry in a manner that only satisfy him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You know, because flesh get angry. Come on. This is after. This is after we. Am I right? I said. That's right. That's right. Now, he that is soon angry. Glory to God. In the book of Proverbs 14 and verse 17. Proverbs 14, 17, then we go back to Ephesus. He that is soon angry. He that get angry quick. Dealeth foolishly. He dealeth foolishly. And one of the qualifications of an elder, which is a bishop, is not so angry. Not soon angry. It didn't say he can't get angry. No. It says not soon, meaning God forbid you to be quick tempered. That's right. Amen. That's right. Now let's go back to Ephesus, chapter and verse again. Back in Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 26. What is it? Be ye angry. Be ye angry. And sin not. Now, when he says don't sin, that means I can't sin in no form while I'm angry. That's right. Don't limit it down to express, expressing your anger physically and sinning. No. That's right. It says sin not. Sin not. That means I can't say nothing in my mind or think anything. The thought that of makes me sin. That's right. Because if I'm angry, it triggers thoughts. Thoughts. So now, mm. he, that's why I said this is a workout because our mind, soul, body, and spirit must be conditioned. Yeah. Go ahead. Must be conditioned in following the statutes, the precepts, the orders of God. That's right. Now listen at this. Be ye angry and sin not. Now, let's first get the mind. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 24 and verse 9. Tell you what? The thought of foolishness. The thought. The very thought of foolishness. It is sin. The thought of foolishness. Huh? 
somebody say, you know, since I've been sanctified and holy, God cleaned me up. I used to be a cussing something, but God took all the curse words out of my mouth. But is it in your mind? That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 <laughs> the very thought, the thought of foolishness is sin. So if I get angry, mm. I cannot think no ill. That's right. Against you, because the Holy Ghost said, the Holy Ghost thinketh no evil. No evil. No evil. So if the Holy Ghost thinketh no evil. I have to be ministered to with the word that the word may condition yeah. my mind that I may have the mind of Christ. That's right. For me to have the mind of Christ, I must be exposed to the constant thinking hmm. of Christ. That's right. And if I'm exposed to the constant thinking of Christ, he reprogrammed. How I think. That's right. That's right. Now, in order for me to be reprogrammed, I must willingly let this mind offer yeah. my mind. That's right. Let's go down to Philippi. In the book of Philippians, chapter 2 and verse 5. What's the first word? Let. Hold up. Amen. Let. The moment saying let. That means I must volunteer yeah. willingly. That's right. Give my mind. Yeah. Over to the how God think and then willingly mm. allow God's thoughts mm. take over my kernel mind until it remove all the carnality. In other words, the mind of God is a divine mental detox to our mind. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Let this Let. mind. Let this mind. You Let see, this you mind. You're here this afternoon. And you're watching all around the world. When the Bible says present your bodies a living sacrifice, one of the things you gotta offer is your mind. That's right. What scripture says, get rid of your mortal mind. Let go from the mortal thought. Do you hear this? In the book of Esther, second Esther, chapter fourteen. Second Esther, chapter fourteen, the fourteen chapter. and verse fourteen. What should we do? Let go from the mortal thought. No, hold on, do it. Let go from the mortal thought. Let go from the mortal thought. Mortal, fleshy, carnal way of thinking. Cast away the burdens of man. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Put off. The weak nature. And so mm -hmm. Somebody say, what's the weak nature? weak nature? Look at yourself. Oh yeah. This is a weak nature. Weak nature. That's right. That's why, glory to God, God established a new birth. Yeah. He wanna switch your nature. That's right. When you're born again, you take on a new nature. That's right. So you gotta repent of your sins, and when you repent of your sins, you are repenting for the performance of the weak nature. The weak nature. And now you need the Holy Ghost, which is the power of God, to strengthen the weak nature from weakness to strength. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. So you have to get rid of all of these wise favors. Let's go back to the book of me figures. I gotta finish that up. I got some more fables to straighten out. Back in Ephesians 5 and verse 26. What is it? Be angry and sin not. All right, you can be angry, but no sin is allowed involved. You can't think it. Yes. You can't feel it. Yeah. You can't say it. That's right. You can't do it. Mm hmm I say you can't think it. Yeah. You can't say it. Mm hmm You can't feel it. Yeah. You can't do it. Anything. That come under the heading of sin, sin while you're angry. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Now hold it. Oh. When it says don't let the sun yeah. 